Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and leave your comments. I would love to hear from you. Have you ever noticed how we keep hearing from everyone? I mean, everyone is saying we need to get a stimulus package done now. Everyone is saying this. President Trump is saying it. President-elect Joe Biden is saying it. Camilla Harris is saying it. Uh, Chuck Schumer is saying it. Nancy Pelosi is saying it. Mitch McConnell is saying it. Jerome Powell is saying it. Everyone is saying it. They've been saying it forever. But is it done yet? Are they getting it done? I hadn't seen anything yet. In all fairness to uh, President-elect Joe Biden, he's not president yet, so he really can't do a whole lot right now. He can push and urge people, but until he actually takes office, he really, his hands are tied. Y'all, call the U.S. Capitol switchboard, the White House switchboard. I've got the links in the description box below. Call them every day. You can talk to anyone you want to talk to. You can just, when they answer, tell them whose office you want to be connected to. The only person that I know that you can't talk to is President Trump, but you will talk to his uh, assistants. Let them know how you feel, how this whole mess has hurt your family, and let them feel the pain in your voice. Will it do any good? Maybe not. But one thing is certain, if you don't call, it's not going to do any good. If nothing else happens, they will hear your voice. They will hear your pain. And you will get to vent on them. Because they're the one that's causing all of this pain. So you get to give it to them. And please don't be nice. Like I said, the links are in the description box below. Be sure and call them. Call them every day if you can. And like I said, it may not do no good. We've done it before and it didn't do no good. But you have to try. You have to let your voice be heard. Don't just sit back and take it. Let your voice be heard. President Trump said that right after the election that he would automatically send out stimulus checks. So, have you got a stimulus check yet? I hadn't. So what he was basically saying is, if he loses the campaign, the hell with the American people. If he didn't say that, he would be sending out stimulus checks right now. He said he would do it if he won. Well, if he done it, if he could do it if he wins, he could still do it now because he is still president. So that was just a ploy to get your vote. Y'all, you know in the past I have been all for Donald Trump. I voted for him the first time. But the way he let the American people down, deplorable. What are we headed to in the new administration that's coming in? I don't know. It could be just as bad. But we have to give it a chance. No matter who is our president, they need our support. Donald Trump has let us down on the stimulus package. Now, did he really let us down, or can he just not do what he said he was going to do? And if that's the case, he shouldn't have said it. He shouldn't have said he's going to send out checks by executive order until he found out if he could or not. He shouldn't have said right after the election, if he's voted in, he would send out stimulus checks. He shouldn't. Have. There's a lot of things that men should not say. I always said, even back when he ran for president the first time, and I voted for him. I always said, I really like him and I want him to be president, but his mouth scares me to death. 
He don't think before he speaks. So y'all, please, I urge y'all to call these numbers that I put on the description box below. It's the number to the U.S. Capitol switchboard and the number to the White House switchboard. Either one of those numbers will get you to the office that you want to go to. Talk to your, your senator. Talk to your representative. Talk to the president's office. Talk to Mike Pence's office. Talk to anyone. Talk to all of them. Just make you a list. Every day, call a couple of them. Let them hear the pain in your voice. And don't be nice. Like I said, it may not help. But you'll get it off your chest. And you'll give it to them, the people that deserves it. Y'all, we will get out of all of this. I know we will. I have faith in Jesus Christ. It really sounds like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are wanting to work with Mitch McConnell. The question is, will Mitch McConnell want to work with them? We know Mitch McConnell wants a smaller bill. I don't think he's calling it a skinny bill no more, but it is still a skinny bill. We know Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats are wanting $3.4 trillion package. Will that pass? Probably not. But if we can compromise and make it good and enough to pass to help the American people, that's all we're asking for. Both sides has to compromise. And both sides are saying that they are willing to compromise. But truthfully, the only side that I've seen compromise so far is the Democrat side. And now they compromise down, but now they're going right back up again because of all the time that has elapsed. They're saying we do need more money now. And along, you know, even with your car, more the, the longer you let something go without fixing it, the more expensive it is going to be to fix it. Well, that's the same thing with our economy in helping the American people. The longer they wait, the more it's going to cost. Y'all, people are still losing their jobs every day. They're still losing their homes. They're still losing their cars. They're still losing their lives over this. And it's from the decisions that the House and the Senate and the President is making. We can reverse this, but it's going to take a stimulus package to do it. We can get out of this whole COVID thing if people would simply wear a mask. Uh, they're not calling for no mandates right now, but I got a feeling they will soon. They're not calling for any mandatory lockdowns right now in states except for New Mexico and Oregon has ordered a lockdown. Will other states come on board with the lockdowns? I believe they will and I believe it will be soon. We know Dr. Fauci said that this this pandemic may not be a pandemic much longer on kind of the vaccines. I hope they get it to the American people soon. They say they're going to send it to the first frontline workers first which I can understand. But I hope they don't drag their feet on it. I hope they get it done fast. Y'all, I'm urging y'all, please call those numbers. Let your voices be heard. Let them feel your pain through your voice. And please don't be nice. The numbers are in the description box. Y'all, please get those numbers and call them. Call them every day. Y'all, we will get through this. It's going to just take a little longer. We can do it with the grace and love of Jesus Christ. He will get us through this. He's the best negotiator in the world. He's the best doctor in the world. He performs miracles every day. I am a living testament to that. By all rights, I should have been gone three years ago. I'm still here, cancer-free. And it's all from God's answering prayers. He does answer prayers every day. 
Sometimes we just don't realize he's already answered the prayers. Have you ever heard the Garth Brooks song, Unanswered Prayers? Sometimes he don't answer prayers the way we would recognize it. He goes totally the opposite way of what we're asking because he knows what's best. We just have to put our trust and faith in him. I love you all. Please subscribe to my channel. Watch the video that's popping up here now. And just know, God will get us through this. Ciao.